The question of the day Good is, morning, do you have everybody. spiritual insurance? I want to discuss something really important about the Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You know, the Father wants me to tell you guys that to ask, do you guys have spiritual insurance? And what I mean by this is, Spiritual insurance ensures you while you're living and while you are dead. It guarantees you eternal life. A lot of people work and, you know, they insure themselves with companies so that they can, what, take care of themselves when they die and take care of themselves take care of their loved ones. However, spiritual insurance works different because it is a personal insurer. It's personal for your personal self. That means every individual is different and every individual must sign up if you want to live eternal after death. So I ask you to find the right one you must search all religions. And what I want you to specifically look for, right, is to look for the end results. So the end results is when you die, what happens to you? What is a guarantee for you after death? Is there life after death in the religion that you are searching for? Or is it vague? Or is it unknown? Because that, if it's vague and if it's unknown, then there is no guarantee. Then that means that is not the right one for you. Just like you signing up for a physical life insurance company. What are they going to tell you? If they, if they can't give you a definite understanding of figures when you die, what they're going to be able to offer you or if they can't give you an actual quote of the value that they have that you can ensure then you're not going to go with them so go with the one that gives you a true firm feeling and firm understanding for me it's jesus christ what about you let me know what you guys think of this. Stay focused. God bless you and have a great day. Bye now.